For this sequence, you need a folded blanket, a yoga strap, and possibly a couple of blocks. Lie on your back with your belt and blocks nearby and rest your head on a folded blanket. Bring the soles of your feet together, letting your knees fall to each side. If this causes discomfort in your inner thighs, I suggest placing a block or folded blanket under each leg. For this passive warm-up sequence, your goal is to minimize the sensations in large surface muscles, allowing blood to warm deep tissue. Close your eyes. Relax your arms at your sides feeling the ebb and flow of your breath resonate through your body. By placing your body in this passive pose, reclining cobbler's pose, you're setting yourself up to access deep connective tissue of the hip joints and lower spine, circulating nutrient-rich blood into core tissues. Linger here for several cycles of conscious breathing to give time for the heat of good circulation to penetrate the core and warm your body from the inside out. Let your breath, especially the out-breath, release your belly organs into the back body. Take that image and sensation further by directing your attention to the inner hips and thighs where you may feel some muscular resistance. Imagine your lungs right there where the discomfort is and you may actually be able to feel a slight expansion on the breath in and a release on the breath out dropping your thigh bones into the outer leg leaving a sense of greater depth and even width in your hips. Though an image, this exercise is deeply effective, further nourishing connective tissue that is the source of flexibility. Using your hands if you wish, bring your knees together and with a lingering exhalation, hug your knees to your chest. Breathing in, extend your right leg to the ceiling. Breathing out, lower it to the floor and relax it. Take your belt and loop it around the bottom of your left foot, holding the belt with both hands. As you breathe in, extend your left leg toward the ceiling. As you breathe out, relax the knee, just slightly, but enough to allow the large external muscles of the upper leg to soften. Close your eyes to internalize your focus and feel the rhythm of your breathing reverberate through your body, softening the surface and awakening the core. You may not be able to feel the warmth and vitality flowing through your joints, but you'll notice it later in the form of increased flexibility and fewer injuries if you incorporate this style of warming up into your active practice. Resist the urge to straighten your legs. A good yoga practice relies on undoing as much as doing. Surrender as much as effort. Hold your belt in your left hand, placing your right arm on the floor at shoulder height, palm up. Press the right hip into the floor as you inhale and lower your leg halfway to the floor. It takes time for the blood to nourish your joints. So linger here, breathing in and out gently. On your next inhalation, bring your leg back up and breathing out. Bend your right knee, placing the foot on the floor. Slip the belt off your left foot and bend your left knee, resting your left foot on the right knee. Each of these movements works a different area of the hips, resulting in increased flexibility over time. Again, linger. 
dropping your left knee toward the floor, allowing the deep flow to do its work. Breathing in, uncross your legs, and breathing out, hug your knees to your chest. Exhale. Extend the left leg up, and breathing out, lower the leg to the floor and relax it. Loop the belt around your right foot, holding the belt with both hands. With the left leg relaxed, breathe in and extend your right leg. Breathing out, backing off until your knee is just slightly less than straight. So that you are close to the edge of your range of motion, but not quite there. Close your eyes and direct your attention to your right hip. Imagine your breathing in your hip as though your lungs are there. The value of this deep muscle warmer comes in taking your time and keeping the surface as soft as possible. Hold your belt with your right hand, placing your left arm on the floor at shoulder height. Breathe in, swing your leg to the right, and breathing out, lower it halfway to the floor, no further than you can take it without your left hip lifting even slightly off the ground. Also, if you cannot steady your breath, raise your leg slightly. Coordinating a steady breath and movement is essential. Breathe in as you bend your left knee, foot to floor, Slip the belt off your foot and breathing out, bend your right knee, resting the foot on the top of the left knee. Though this exercise is passive, it's mindful. Breathe in as you uncross your legs and breathing out, hug your knees to your chest. Finish your out breath. If you've been using blocks, move them out of your way. Bring your arms to the floor at shoulder height, palms up. Breathe in, rolling to the right. Let your knees and feet fall to the floor, bringing your left arm across your chest, resting it on your right arm. Feel how nice and wide your back body is. Lower back ribs expand and release like gills. Keep your back and shoulder blades wide as you breathe in, extending your left arm to the ceiling. As you breathe out, lower it back down again. Coordinate breath and movement. Following the rhythm of your breath, inhale as you raise your left arm. This time, as you breathe out, follow the hand with your gaze. Reach out to the left until your arm is halfway to the floor. Breathe into your back ribs and keep your shoulder blades wide. Reach strongly to the left. Breathe in, raise the arm, and breathing out, bring it all the way over to the right arm again. When you're ready, breathing in, listen to the breath, raise the arm, as you breathe out, reach to the left again, following the hand with your eyes. Stop when your hand is halfway to the floor. On your next breath out, pull your left side ribs and shoulder blade toward the floor to lower your shoulder and warm your upper back muscles. Steady breathing. Now as you breathe in, roll onto your back, and breathing out, hug your knees in. Notice how the pressure of your thighs on your abdomen increases the volume of the out-breath. Other side. Inhale, roll to the left. 
Exhaling, your legs and feet fall to the floor and bring your right arm up and all the way over to your left arm or hand. Just relax. Each out breath coaxes the belly organs to sink into the back body. Keeping the shoulder blades wide, breathe in, raising your arm toward the ceiling. Breathing out, lower it back down. Continue to coordinate breath and movement as at your own pace. You breathe in and raise your right arm, timing movement to breath. As you exhale, follow the hand with your gaze, reaching strongly to the right and bringing your arm halfway to the floor. Breathe in as you bring your arm up. Breathe out, lower it to the left arm again. It's fine to take a breath or two before continuing. When you're ready, one more time. Inhale, raise the arm, follow the hand with your gaze. Breathe out, reach to the right until your arm is again halfway to the floor. If you're able to press the right shoulder and side ribs down, lower your arm as well. Continue to let the belly organs fall toward the spine. That's a release not a sucking in of the stomach. Now inhale, roll onto your back. Roll all the way to your right and sit up in a simple cross-legged position. Sun salutations are an intrinsic part of any flow or vinyasa style yoga practice. However, many beginners are frustrated by their difficulty. This is a highly modified version of sun salutation that you can try if you find the other sun salutations on this DVD to be too strenuous at this time. For this variation, you need a chair. Place your chair on your yoga mat so that it won't slide. I'll give you a moment to set that up. Stand six to eight inches in front of the chair facing it. Look down and position your feet hip width apart with the outer feet parallel with one another. Join your palms at your chest in namaste or prayer position. Opening the core of your chest towards your hands, pause for a moment to tune into your breathing. Mouth is closed. Breath is rhythmic and steady, represented by an ocean sound gently flowing from the base of your throat. Now, breathing in, extend your arms overhead, hands shoulder width apart. And breathing out, hinge from the hips as you bend forward, holding the sides of your chair's seat. Remember to coordinate movement with breath as you inhale and open your chest. Breathing out, bend your elbows, curl over, and rest your head on the chair. Bend your knees if your lower back or the backs of your legs are too uncomfortable. This is standing forward bend. Breathe steadily and relax. Bend your knees and breathing in, straighten your elbows, lifting your chest. And breathing out, step your right foot back a couple of feet into a lunge. Your front foot should be flat on the floor. Anchoring your feet and expanding your chest, breathe in and sweep your side ribs forward and up between your arms to create a gentle back bend, a variation of upward facing dog pose. Breathe steadily and gaze forward. Breathe in, stepping your left foot beside the right. Position your feet hip width apart, heels on the floor. If you feel too far away from the chair, just step forward to a comfortable position. Now, elbows straight. Inhale, press the chair. Exhale, pushing your hips back over your heels, positioning your head between your arms and stretching your body long. Breathe steadily. Exhalation as long as inhalation, mouth closed. 
Now breathe in, stepping your right foot forward six to eight inches from the chair, and breathe out into a lunge. Breathe in, open your chest, and move your ribs toward the back of the chair into upward facing dog pose. Step your left foot forward beside the right. Again, feet parallel and hip width apart. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, curl over to rest your head on the chair, bending your knees if you wish. Breathe in, straighten your elbows, lifting your chest, and extend your arms overhead, standing upright. Exhale, bring your palms together at your chest in prayer position. Mountain pose. Check your alignment. Notice your breathing. We'll repeat it. Breathe in, raise your arms overhead. Breathing out, fold from the hips. Hold the sides of your chair. Bend your elbows and rest your head. Relaxed breathing. Now straighten your elbows again as you breathe in to expand your chest, letting your heart radiate forward. Bend your knees deeply. On your next breath in, step your left foot back, bending the right knee to a lunge, foot flat on the floor. Inhale, open your chest, sweeping your chest forward and up. And make sure that you exhale completely after that movement. Step your right foot beside your left, bend your knees deeply, and press the chair, pushing the hips back over the feet with your knees bent. If this seems easy, straighten your knees, keeping your back flat, and even in this flat back position, the chest radiates toward the chair. This is a variation of downward facing dog pose. Now bend your knees and on a breath in, step your left foot forward, exhale into the lunge. Breathing in, open the chest, exhale, bring it forward and up to a little back bend, upward dog pose. Step forward, placing your feet parallel and hip width apart again, six to eight inches in front of the chair. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathing out, bend your elbows, curl over to rest your head on the chair. Restraighten your elbows, opening your heart forward. Breathe in, sweep the arms forward, standing upright. Breathe out, bringing the palms together in Namaste. Last time, inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, bend forward, hold the chair, and relax into your hanging forward bend, head resting on the chair, knees bent if necessary. Relaxed breathing. Breathe in, straighten your elbows, spread your chest wide, open it from your core. Now bend your knees, and as you inhale, step your right foot back, exhaling into the lunge. Breathe in, sweep your chest forward and up, and breathing out, roll your shoulders away from your ears to refine the back bend. Make space for exhalation. Bend your knees and push your hands into the chair as you step your left foot back beside the right, and with deeply bent knees, send your hips back over your heels, head between the arms, long, soft neck shoulder blades towards the hips. Keep your back flat, straighten your knees if possible, and keep your breath steady. Bend your knees as you inhale and step your right foot forward, exhale into the lunge. Breathing in, sweep the chest forward and up. Breathing out, roll your shoulders away from your ears. Step forward with your left foot, aligning your feet as before. Relax the elbows and with a nice, gentle out breath, relax into standing forward bend. 
Inhale, straighten your elbows and lift your chest. Sweep your arms forward and stand upright in mountain pose. Bring your hands together at the chest. For this standing asana flow, you may need a block. Stand in mountain pose at the end of your mat. Take a block and step your feet wide, placing the block behind your right foot. Extend your arms to shoulder height, outer feet parallel. Ideally, your ankles are in line with your wrists, but shorten your stance if you can't straighten your knees or they hurt. Now hold your hips and focus on your breathing. Mouth closed. Listen for the distinctive ocean sound of your breath in the base of the throat that will calm and steady you as you move through this vinyasa or flow practice. Now pivot your right heel, turning your right leg out and planting the foot on the floor with toes and kneecap facing the end of the mat. Turn your left leg and hips slightly to the right anchoring your outer left foot to the mat. Straighten your knees and open your chest. Breathe in, move your right hip away from the waist, tipping your torso over your right leg. Keeping your back leg straight, exhale, bending your right knee over your ankle. Rest your right forearm on top of the knee with straight fingers. Ideally, you have a right angle bend in the leg. You can adjust your stance to facilitate that. Breathe in, grounding your outer back foot firmly as you lift your chest. Breathe out, gently tuck your tail and pull your left side ribs back, gazing straight ahead. Reach to the ceiling with your left arm. Side angle pose. Steady breathing, balancing exhalations with inhalations. Hold your left hip, turn toward the floor, and putting your block by your outer right foot, place your hand on the block. Breathe in, push your right hip to the left, and straighten the right knee. Breathe out into triangle pose. If you can't straighten your knee, make your block taller. With your torso over your right leg, breathe in, ground your feet, and lift your chest. Breathe out, pull your left ribs back, gazing straight ahead, and extend your left arm up, palm forward. Hold your block as you inhale and stand. Pivot on your left heel, turning your foot to the left. The right leg and hips turn slightly in. Place your block to the outside of the left foot, then stand and hold your hips. Straight knees, open chest. Breathe in as you slide your outer left hip away from the waist to tip your torso over your left knee. Breathe out, bend your left knee 90 degrees, knee over ankle, forearm on knee with fingers straight. Adjust your stance if necessary. Keeping your back leg straight and outer back foot grounded, inhale, raising your chest. Exhale, pull your right ribs back and gently tuck your tail. Extend your right arm up and gaze straight forward. Side angle pose. Breathe in, your body expands. Breathe out, refine technique. Ribs back, outer back foot grounded. Every movement following breath. Hold your right hip as you turn toward the floor, placing your left hand on the block. Breathe in, pushing the outer left hip away from the waist, to straighten your left knee, and breathing out, pull your right ribs back, gently tucking your tailbone and staring straight ahead. Extend your right arm to the ceiling. Triangle pose. Breathe 
Release the block as you inhale and stand up. Lower your arms as you breathe out and step your feet hip width apart. Rest your hands in the crooks of your elbows. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, standing forward bend. Bend your knees if your lower back hurts. Use this resting pose to slow your breath down, restoring a steady, patient rhythm. Breathe in as you roll back up to stand in mountain pose. Step your feet wide again, arms at shoulder height, and check your alignment. Outer feet parallel, ankles below wrists. Hold your hips. Pivot the right heel, turning your leg to the right. Turn the left leg in slightly. And using your hands, rotate your hips to the right so that navel, kneecap, and toes all face the end of the mat. Keep your back leg straight and strongly root the outer back foot. Now bring your hands to your ribs. Inhale, open the chest toward the chin, and exhaling, push your side ribs slightly forward, squeezing your elbows in. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, bend your knee. Knee over ankle, 90 degrees. Back knee is straight, foot grounded. Warrior pose one. Steady breathing, paying attention to your out breaths. Keep them strong. Keep your knee bent and breathe in. Turn your torso to the left, turning the left thigh out and sweeping your arms wide so your hands are over your feet at shoulder height. Warrior pose two. Check the alignment of your right leg, knee over ankle, knee facing in the same direction as the toes, and left hip level with the right. Gaze straight forward. Inhale, straighten your right knee, hold your hips, and turn to the left. Left leg turns out, right leg in, and revolve your hips completely to the left. Navel, kneecap, toes facing the end of the mat. Back leg is straight, outer back foot grounded. Hold your side ribs and breathe in, opening and lifting the chest toward the chin. Breathe out, push your side ribs forward an inch or two, especially the right side, and squeeze your elbows. Inhale, bend your left knee 90 degrees. Glance down to check your alignment. Knee over ankle, navel, knee, toes face the end of the mat. Plant your outer back foot, warrior one. Inhale, turning fully to the right. Turn your right thigh out and sweep your arms to shoulder height over the feet, warrior pose two. Check your alignment, make adjustments. Hips level, gentle tuck, open heart, gaze straight ahead, smooth, confident out breaths. Inhale, straighten your left knee. Exhale, lower your arms and step to mountain pose. Hands in the crooks of the elbows, breathe in, round over. Breathing out, relaxing to standing forward bend, bending your knees if your back hurts. Slow down your breathing. Your heart is inverted, which is also restful to the body. This passive pose helps to maintain a calm, steady core. Just rest. Breathe gently. True power comes by learning to balance effort and surrender. Inhale, roll up to mountain pose. Exhale, step the feet wide. Outer feet parallel. Lace your fingers together behind your back with your palms facing each other. Keeping your elbows slightly bent, Inhale and lift the chest, pulling your arms back and up behind you. Keep your head upright. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips and down, bringing your arms over your back toward the floor. Expanded leg forward bend. Don't try to put your head on the floor, just hang. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in, lift your chest, looking forward and stand up. Exhale, take your block and put it in front of your right foot. 
Pivot your right leg out, left leg in, and line your heels up with each other, rooting your outer back heel. Hold your hips and rotate them so the navel, kneecap, and toes all face the end of the mat. Make sure your back heel stays down. Breathe in, pull your right hip back. Breathe out, hinging from your hips, elongate your torso over your right leg. Place your block by your inside foot, left hand on the block, making it taller if necessary. Pause here, calm your breathing. Flat back, outer back foot grounded, right big toe too. Breathe in, press down with the left hand and lift the chest, gazing at the floor. Breathe out, pull your right ribs up and back to turn your torso to the right. Steady breathing. Feet are grounded. Revolve triangle pose. Hold your block as you inhale and stand, turning your feet to the left. Heels line up with each other and turn your hips so navel, knee, and toes face the end of the mat. Place the block by your inner left foot, then stand and hold your hips. Breathing in, pull your left hip back, anchoring your outer back foot and left big toe. Breathing out, extend your torso over your left leg, placing your right hand on top of the block. Steady your stance. Inhale, press down with the right arm to lift the chest, gazing at the floor. Exhale, pulling your left ribs up and back to bring your left shoulder above the right. Remember, back heel anchored. Revolve triangle pose. Now bend your left knee as you breathe in. Move your block away and place your hands on the floor, shoulder width apart. Step to downward facing dog pose. Come up onto the balls of your feet and deeply bend the knees. Inhale, spread your fingers and firmly root your hands. Pressing the hands into the floor, push your hips back over your feet, positioning your head between your upper arms. Continue pushing your hips back. Exhale, stretching the heels toward the floor. Straighten your knees as much as you can without losing the backward direction of the stretch. Slow, steady, ocean sound. Out breath equal to in breath. Keep stretching. Breathe in, come down to your knees. Swing your feet to one side and sit behind them, bringing your legs to simple, cross-legged position. Relaxation pose. Lie on your back with your legs outstretched and relaxed. Your arms six to eight inches away from the sides of your body and your head on the floor or a folded blanket if you wish. If your lower back is uncomfortable, roll up a blanket underneath your knees. Now close your eyes. And turn your attention once more to your breathing. Now feeling your breath, a gentle inner rhythm. It's soothing, like rain on the roof, coaxing your body to relax. Feel your whole body sink into the floor. Imagine that you're lying on the beach in wet sand and the heaviest parts of you sink, leaving deep impressions like footprints. The back of the skull heavy, sinking into soft sand.
the shoulders heavy, sink. The floor seems soft behind your shoulders. Let your lower back ribs relax. Not pressing them down, but letting them hang like garlands. Your belly organs sink back. Hips too. The backs of your legs, your calves. Leave deep impressions in the wet sand. And your heels and the backs of your hands, heavy falling. Your whole front body sinks into the back body. Your face into the back brain. Soothing, rhythmic breath. Coaxing you to release more. Habitual tensions can creep back in unnoticed. Take your attention to a common place where you know you hold tension. Back of the neck, perhaps. Lower back. Heart. Let them drop. And as your body falls, becoming heavy, the inner body, your subtle body, is free, it's light, and radiates through your skin like a gentle mist. Everything comes to this, surrendering the form, the flesh and bone body, and freeing the subtle body. Remain aware of a sense of inner space. Look around inside your body and with that inner awareness slowly begin to reopen your eyes. <laughs>